Hey, hey, my fellow adventurers, Daddy Will here, and welcome to another wonderful family friendly Skaramata view. My character cat has been hiding out in his player home for many weeks now, and yeah, it's starting to smell here, and we are starting to run out of food in our kitchen and storage. My followers, who are all very big girls, if you guys know what I mean, have been eating all of my food. They have been busy fighting off zombies, and unfortunately, Ichigo and Lily, uh, one of my, well, two of my followers, have become zombie food. Now, if I was a zombie, I already know what would be my favorite part to eat. Open that up, we've got two beautiful breasts. Once the chicken's cut in half, we lightly flour it. Anyways, we need a new outfit so we won't get chewed up by some zombies. We have Grim, Zero Suit Samus by Grim Sovereign, and this is the outfit of one of the most famous female heroes in video game history. The outfit can be crafted at the forge for mostly refined moonstone. And right here we have Tuco from Breaking Bad, and he also likes this outfit. Oh, tight, 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 yeah! Oh, blue, yellow, pink! Whatever, man, just keep bringing me that. The Zero Suit Samus is skin tight, 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 and it's mostly blue, yellow, and pink. Yes, indeed, he has very good taste. Now, it's available in 2K, 4K, and I am using a mixture of both. The outfit is also available in CBBE and 7BO, and I'm mostly using the 7BO version. There are two different high heels. We have the MK1, which is what Samus wears in the Metroid game series, and we also have the MK2, which is what she wears in the Super Smash Brothers series. Now, as I mentioned in my follow form mod review, I do prefer the MK2 version, which is more elaborate, and I mention that because, well, uh, this outfit is also available in Fallout 4. Now, the MK1 and the MK2 high heels does make you, uh, well, taller, because, well, the high heels does add a few inches, especially the MK2. The Samus outfit is lore friendly because, well, there are plenty of monsters in Skyrim that looks like something that you would see in a Metroid game, particularly the ones that have tentacles. If you guys know what I mean, yeah, you guys know. Now, the yellow and pink areas of the outfit does give off a glow, and it might look a little bit different depending on what EMB you're using. The Grim Zero Suit Samus is available in Skyrim and Skyrim Remaster. Also, before we continue on, become my patron today if you enjoy what I do. It helps a lot and every little bit kind of helps this uh, mod series continue. And YouTube is still a very poopy place for a lot of content makers like myself. And the link can be found in the video description below if you want to help out and become a patron today. And as well as links for all the mods I feature in this video. So yay, go check it out guys. Now, where can we find some food? Hmm, okay. Oh, it looks like we have a group of zombies blocking our way. Now, what are we gonna do, guys? We are, no guys, we're not gonna be eating them. Uh, well, we're gonna need a new weapon to eliminate these zombies right here. We have Fallout New Vegas Alien Blaster for Skyrim by Sigmayer, and this is the perfect weapon to go with the Samus Zero suit. The weapon can be found in a Dreamer Museum in Markov, and once you're there, you can find a deactivated Alien Blaster and as well as the Alien Power Cells. You can Bind the two together at the forge to make a fully functioning and activated alien blaster. The alien blaster is from Fallout New Vegas and it was suggested to me by Daymar when I went around asking for people what weapon would go well with the Samus suit in Skyrim. Well, it does the same thing in Fallout New Vegas where it turns enemies into ash. This is absolutely lore friendly because it does look like something that a dreamer would create. Now the cool thing is that you can use two alien blasters at once and have double the pew pew. The alien blaster is pretty powerful because I do notice that it will kill most things in 3 to 5 hits. There is also an optional pistol animation that can be used to change how the pistols are held so you can kind of look badass and even, well, have a Mexican standoff. Count of three, we're all gonna put down our guns. I have crossbows. Hey, <laughs> now with this alien blaster, we should make quick work of these zombies right here so we can get past them and get to where we want to go, right guys? So, you know, pew pew pew, pew pew pew. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okie dokie, now right here we have this very eye-catching sign, um, okay, so where can we go to find some food, hmm, okay, well, right here we have the El Sopa HD unique hand-painted road signs by El Sopa, and these are road signs that will definitely catch your attention. Now right here we have some before and after footage, and the El Sopa road signs are definitely much more colorful, and each town and city has a unique design. Now to me, it looks like the towns are finally getting their act together to promote their town to get people to come, and maybe spend their hard-earned coins at the local tavern, the shop, or the brothel. I don't know, guys. You know, you could spend your money wherever. But yeah, I think this is a very good improvement, and I'll probably have this installed for uh, long term because yeah, it seems like it's one of the more fun and very nice-looking road sign mods that we have. The Selpa road signs are available in 1K, 2K, and 4K textures, and I'm currently using the 4K version. <laughs> now anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to bang the like and subscribe button, bang it good. Now I got a question for you guys, which high heel do you guys like more? The MK1 or MK2? Let me know in the comment section below. Now uh, for uh, one last thing, I would like to thank Zara, you know, one of my newest Patreon supporters, you know, thank you darling. <laughs> now uh, well then, stay skimpy my friends, stay skimpy.